There are a few things to consider when you do a throw-in. First of all, of course, you have to be out of the field, off the field, behind the sideline before you toss it in. But before we get to the technique, I have the urge to just uh, emphasize that when you have a throw-in, the idea is to not just toss the ball anywhere on the field. Actually, you have to observe what's going on, the, field, the, the behavior on the field of your strikers, of your midfielders, wherever you're on the field, who gets open, who gives you a sign to pass the ball or to toss the ball to you, to throw the ball at you or who's moving into the open space. So the idea is to, of course, get an advantage and not see it as a disadvantage because you're using your hands, what is a, is a part of your body you have most coordination with. So having the throw in, uh, aim it at the player you want to pass the ball to, into the foot, to the chest, not anywhere, ideally to the strong foot, so he, is a, he or she has an, an, an easy touch back to you or has an easier way to control it for himself or herself. Of course, we, uh, we want to have both feet, as we said earlier, behind the line, but it's more about the upper body to get momentum on the ball. We have to we rise the ball up, use both hands, get the, balls, uh, the ball between the hands, and almost build a triangle behind it so we have enough power and control, and the ball is not slipping out of our hands when we actually throw it. We lean back with the shoulders going behind the head, lean all the way back, and then throw it out of your hands. Remember to focus on your, on your teammate more than on anything else. You want to have an advantage and not a disadvantage out of the throwing.